This presentation is going to show you how to crack outbound and book two to four calls per day for almost any offer, even in saturated niches like e-commerce or user interface that you have tried months to get working. If I had this before I started cold email, I would have been successful 10 times faster. If you haven't already booked a call with us, go ahead to agentvelocity.io, book a call. Just some references, basically what we have based all of this in. Figure number one, Wyatt here, making $67,000 in performance commissions from from outbound campaigns in a month from his clients using the structure that we're gonna be breaking down. Also figure number two, Rene booking 38 meetings in six weeks for his UX UI client, which is notoriously extremely hard to need to do outbound for, and he cracked it using our stuff. Lars booking three to five meetings a day for a B2B SaaS company in a super competitive niche using our stuff. Christopher booking three meetings from 277 emails sent with broken German, which is always funny. And Jack cracking outbound after five months using our frameworks and collecting $41,000 in a week. So again, Jack was trying to crack outbound for his agency. And after five months, he finally cracked it using our stuff, made 41K in a week, which is pretty crazy. Emil implemented our code outbound copywriting and basically having prospects thanking him for bothering them with cold emails. Most guys, when they send cold emails, they get replies saying, fuck you and go away. But when people use our stuff, they get people saying thank you, which is pretty nice. Dane's cracking outbound for his oldest client and booking consistent meetings. So was struggling, started using our stuff cracked outbound and started making hella good results. Also a few case studies from our clients. Tony Young started at zero when we started working together after eight months, scaled to 40K a month using cold email and LinkedIn. We did an interview with her. Wyatt, $500 a month when we started working together, now making over 70K a month in nine months, again, using our cold email stuff. Christian Huey went from zero to 25K a month in 91 days and using our cold email stuff. Elliot and Emil from zero to 25K a month in 98 days using our stuff. Michael Choi, zero to 20K a month in 120 days working with us. Daniel started working with us $0 a month after working with us for eight months doing $25,000 a month and Oliver Scarnell was running a failed SMA agency started working with us building B2B cold email lead generation agency and after 18 weeks making $30,000 a month. The goal of this presentation is to teach you how to crack outbound and start booking two to four meetings per day for almost any offer even in saturated niches like e-com, branding, UX, UI, Facebook ads, all of that stuff. This is for you if you have recently founded a lead generation agency or a freelancing business and you're struggling to deliver for your clients. So basically if you're selling lead gen or if you have been relying on outside resources to make your outreach campaigns work. So if you always need to hire some people to run your cold emails, then this is perfect for you. Or if you're able to deliver results for some offers, but not for others and don't understand what the root cause is. So if you're running a lead transition agency and for a few of your clients, you get banger results and can't get their cold email campaigns to work and you don't really understand why. Perfect, we're gonna be breaking into that. Or of course, if you own a B2B business and haven't been able to crack cold outreach for yourself, so if you haven't hired a lead generation agency, you're trying to do B2B sales for your own B2B company and you just can't get deals to your cold outreach, then this is perfect for you. Either way, you understand the power of cold email and that there's still demand in the market for providers who can make outreach work. That is why building a lead generation agency is extremely powerful because not that many people know how to actually crack cold outbound and actually like get cold email campaigns to perform. So you are going to be able to make a lot of a lot of money. Also, this is not for you if you don't have minimum understanding of marketing and sales and are not patient enough to test and just want the proven scripts to get results. And if that's the case, you just get a job instead. So there's no proven scripts. There's only proven strategies. Don't really lead you anywhere. You need to actually understand what's happening out there in the market. Talking about a market, basically right now, the state of the market is that cold email is one of the most cost efficient and scalable ways to generate target and qualified sales appointments. Because of this fundamental feature, there has been a massive increase in new lead generation and client acquisition agencies getting founded. And with good offer that shift most of the risk on the agency, closing clients for a cold outreach agency is not difficult. The lead gen offer, quote unquote, has been validated over and over again, making that an easy beginner friend model. And there are tons of proven scripts and working campaigns circulating online that anyone can swipe, put into instantly and close a client in 14 days or less. Starting a lead gen as an agency and just getting a few low paying clients isn't really hard. However, delivering results and booking calls on your client's calendar is a whole different game. Each offer is unique. Each industry has their own characteristics and established lead generation experts don't share their 
they're working client campaigns. If someone says that they're giving all their stuff for free, they probably don't have any cool shit to give away. But without understanding the principles and fundamentals of cold outreach copywriting, it's almost impossible to generate sales calls for your prospects. Gone are the days when cold email was brand new and rarely used outside of specific online circles. You can't anymore launch a mediocre campaign and book two to four meetings a day like you could 16 months ago. Not only there is a sea of lead generation agencies using similar tactics, but big enterprise SDRs are feeling the pressure from cooling economy, meaning they are incentivized to seek out better tactics and working techniques to keep their jobs and make quotas. And this results in your prospects inboxes being filled more and more each day with similar templated pitches. If your email doesn't exactly resonate with your target market, your emails will get deleted no matter how many methods and scripts you go around and swipe and steal and copy. The secret to cracking outbound for almost any offer is understanding the concepts, not tactics. I made this presentation to bridge the gap between you relying on tactics and trends and building a deeper understanding of B2B marketing. Wants to put you in a position where you can crack any offer that can work on outbound. There's a lot of people starting these legion agencies and do the easy work and just steal scripts and swipe templates or whatever it might be. They can get some clients, but they never actually learned how to do cold email themselves. We run a company called Agency Velocity. We help people build legion agencies with cold email. Basically, when someone starts working with us, we don't give them proven scripts. We have three agents velocity, all of the campaigns that we run, millions of emails, we probably send a million a month. So we have the proven scripts, but we don't really give them to everyone like immediately because you first need to learn the basics or are able to get really good results. Rob's background, over the last seven months, he has been working as a copywriting consultant at Agent Velocity IO on troubleshooting and optimizing over 365 outbound campaigns across different offers, different niches and different countries. And some of his best outreach campaigns had 42% reply rates and 3.8% meeting book rates, respectively. He has also written a couple six-figure direct response campaigns and ran the back end of a few seven-figure coaches, consultants, and course sellers. He's an absolute beast. You can go check him out on Twitter. He tweets some esoteric stuff. The first thing that you really need to fucking understand is you need to understand the markets. Someone's cold email doesn't work. The first thing that they say is, I think my offer is bad. But the first problem that most people run into when trying to crack outbound is not an offer problem. It's a target market problem because the difference between a great offer and a bad offer is who you're actually offering it to, who you're targeting. So example, here, two to three new clients every month for a marketing agency who's struggling to get predictable lead flow is a great value proposition. Two to three new clients every month for a construction company who has more work that they can fulfill and need more workers is a horrible value proposition because of course they don't need more clients because they have more work that they can do. So if you're targeting construction companies, it doesn't matter if you increase the quantifiable benefits. So if you tell that you'll get them more clients, if you decrease the time frame, you tell them you'll get them faster or you introduce a new unique mechanism, you won't sell them more clients. They just do not fucking want them. They don't want a service that gets them more clients. They have more shit that they can do. So the first and most important step in making high performing outbound campaigns is to research your market. So many people have skipped this. There are many ways to do market research. Won't get into all strategies, but some of the methods that have been working well for our consultation clients are the following. Launching broad market research outbound campaigns and hopping on discovery calls to gather as much information about the market, not the company as possible. That's what we do with most of the people who started working with us. So as an example, making outbound work for recruitment offers is famously a fairly difficult task. One of our consultation clients targeted recruitment agencies, hopped on a few discovery calls and soon found out a unique characteristic in the industry. And basically what he said here is what companies usually do is they will hire recruitment agencies well and good, but they will hire multiple recruitment agencies because recruitment agency only gets paid when there is a successful placement. So when they have a vacancy, they tell those four to five recruitment agencies that they have a vacancy to fill and whoever is successful in doing so gets paid. He just gained really, really crucial insights on the market. And I know this isn't always the case, but with many, many, many recruitment companies, it is. There is this fundamental issue that makes it hard to generate meetings, not even talk about actually closing clients. That's basically the first thing that you should, should do for market research. You launch like really soft and basic offers into the market. You take discovery calls and just go through discovery frameworks with the prospects to just learn what's happening in the market and what are the big problems and why people can't get cold email to work. Then you get insights and then you know, okay, how do you actually position your actual offer? Second thing that you can do and what we do a lot is using ChatGPT to have it act as a CEO or a founder of a company in your target market and having a conversation with them to figure out what are the unique problems and concerns. 
Example, for the software development industry, most assume that the pain point is paid advertising to find leads. ChatGPT, when you ask it, it brings out that the most common methods are referrals and networking. And this was also later confirmed by our junior consultant Wyatt, and he has been ramming it in the software development agency niche. He is working with one of the biggest ones in the US, fucking crazy, crazy, crazy big clients. And he told that ChatGPT was completely right on it. If you write, quote unquote, without paid ads in your outreach copy, it seems won't resonate with them because they don't usually use paid ads like yo john software development company founder i can get you more clients without you using paid ads they won't really bat an eye to that because they don't even use paid ads in the first place so it's not like a big thing for them like oh dope like we don't even do that anymore third thing that you can do is signing up for industry specific newsletters courses communities and mastermind groups basically just emerging yourself in a circle of people who are your perfect clients not only will you get direct information on industry trends, updates and relevant information, but you will also learn the industry lingo, what's unique about their sales process and if they actually have a problem that you can solve. One of our consultation clients, Dwayne, did exactly that to find a potential blue ocean niche. Basically what he did is he was thinking, okay, this is a niche that I want to get into. So he bought a course on that exact topic and he studied it, got some really good insights. He learned the language, he learned the pain points and all of that stuff. And then he also was emerged in a community of those people who have been in the same industry and he was able to talk with those people so he was able to like find the exact pain points and the exact language and exact way that people describe the problems so then when he creates cold email scripts and offers and vsls for that stuff it works fucking amazingly well because he just has that exact industry information so getting direct market feedback will save you weeks if not months of iteration because you literally just get it straight from the market it's accurate immediately first do your discovery calls and learn second use chat gpt third buy courses communities enroll in the masterminds of people who are your perfect prospects. Another thing that you need to understand is market awareness and sophistication, and this is fucking huge. Understanding market awareness and sophistication levels is necessary in direct response marketing to create winning campaigns. However, these concepts haven't spilled over to the mainstream lead generation world just yet. Market awareness is the level of your prospects, or so what level are they on, on the scale, on the product and the awareness and the market, etc. And market sophistication is the level of your competition. And you start with market awareness. Example of market awareness awareness how we can actually affect the campaigns. You didn't do market research and you assume companies in your niche are struggling with lead flow, which is the problem, and your offer is helping improve their referral program efficiency solution. So you know that, okay, my target market struggling with lead flow and I have an offer, I have a solution, let's just improve the efficiency of the referral program. But your target market is problem aware, so you got that right. They know that they need more leads, but they're solution unaware, so they don't know that the referral programs are a solution. So you're basically selling them a solution on boosting the efficiency of their referral programs, but they don't even know referral programs solves the problem. So your cold email copy that says, we'll help you increase your referral program efficiency by 50% in four weeks by implementing our XYZ unique mechanism won't resonate with your target market because they'll think, fucking we don't have a referral program. So this is not for me. So they are not aware of the solution. They are not aware that they should have a referral program to even like try to fix the problem. But then if your cold email copy says, that we help you get three to four more leads each month by implementing a performance-based referral system, it will resonate way better since now they know that it's a potential avenue. They were not aware of referral programs and it being a solution and you introduce it to them. So first they're like, ah, oh, shit, referral programs. That actually makes a lot of sense. They get interested on it. And then you can sell your offer on referral programs. But if they don't even know about referral programs, then they won't buy something that makes their referral programs work better. If you're not sure about your target market's average awareness levels, do market features to get approximate awareness level and launch two to three campaigns written with different levels in mind to observe KPIs. So write one for solution aware, solution unaware, problem aware, problem unaware, product aware, product unaware, write for that. And the next step is to understand your market sophistication. So when you understand awareness, you need to understand market sophistication. And this is fucking key. So if there are 33 lead generation agencies in your prospects inbox, you'll need a unique selling proposition that makes your offer more tantalizing. But if you have an offer that's pretty much unheard in the market, then just focusing on benefits will do more than highlighting the unique mechanism. An example of this, email marketing for e-commerce is one of the most sophisticated markets that you can target with cold outreach. The prospects have heard almost all the basic claims because everyone's starting to just one-up each other. So an example of this, if you're not making at least 30% revenue from your email, like they have fucking heard it a thousand times. You'll need to come up with a unique mechanism that makes it worth for prospects to entertain the idea of 
switching service providers. Joeo here is our consulting client who has an e-com email marketing client who he was struggling to get any meetings with. To fix this, we started testing different unique mechanisms and we were able to reach a 0.3% meeting book rate, which is actually really good for such a sophisticated offer. PS, market awareness and sophistication has some correlation. Basically what that means is higher awareness implies higher sophistication, but it doesn't mean higher sophistication. Here's basically from Eugene Swartz, really beautiful graph here. So it basically goes through the five stages of market sophistication and and then also awareness, it's from Growth Marketer. You should 100% check these charts out. It's gonna tell you a lot and you should also read Breakthrough Advertising from Eugene Swartz to learn a lot about this cause. This is fucking like the most fundamental marketing shit that you ever need to know. The next thing, understanding offers. Next steps on cracking outbound after understanding the markets is to understand the offers. For the purpose of this presentation, we look at offers through an outbound lens. You can split offers up to two categories. First, you have the vitamins, the nice to haves, the offers that might add some value to a business, but they're not urgently necessary. And then you have the second type of offers, which is painkillers. And they are the must haves, the offers that add direct value to a business and often solves an acute pain and it's urgently necessary. Here's the kicker. Vitamins are almost impossible to get work on outbound. And basically vitamins are the type of offers people search out when they have the idea to implement it for themselves, AKA the buying intent is just higher. Painkillers work on outbound most of the time. So if you have seen people say that your offer needs to either increase revenue, decrease costs or decrease time spent, they're basically talking about painkiller offers. To make vitamins work on outbound, so for example, web design, in most cases, web design is extremely urgent. It's like a nice to have a thing like, hey, you can make life a bit easier, but it isn't urgently necessary. You need to hit the prospect who have recently thought about web design at the right time. And this means you'll need a lot of volume and basically a shotgun approach or find an amazing data source. So more common vitamins are web design, branding, productivity offers, and other just vague, unquantifiable offers. Don't worry, if you're stuck with the vitamin right now, you just need to reposition your vitamin into a painkiller. But the only way to do so is to have a good understanding of your market. You have to tire the features of your vitamin in solving an acute pain. So example of this, Rene is one of our consultation clients who was failing to crack outbound for a branding offer. He had sent over 6,000 emails with zero bookings because he was basically just trying to sell vitamins. So what we did is we repositioned his client's offer and tied it to a specific industry's most important desire and we ended up cracking outbound for a quote unquote vitamin offer doing this. He booked 38 calls in one and a half months for UI UX offer. Just like trying to get your dog to eat vitamins, hide them in a juicy marbling steak. So what you do is you take the vitamin offer and the feature of the vitamin offer. So for example, if you're really good at making websites, you can either use your skills on making them prettier or you can make them better conversion rate. So you use the same features on like tweaking the website into increasing the conversion rate instead of just making it prettier and you actually tie it into a painful thing and introduce your solution to solve the problems. Someone's ads aren't running profitably because they don't get a good conversion on their landing page. Boom, we can fix it with the CRO service. So you basically turn a vitamin offer, which is nice to have, make a website prettier into a painkiller offer, which is basically a must to have. Your ads are losing money. You must optimize your CRO, your conversion rates on your websites. Then target positions. So the other part of the offers that most people fail to miss is that different roles in companies have different responsibilities. Really simple, but still people don't get it. It's common for lead generation agencies during the data scraping phase to just collect all possible decision makers and then just write their outreach positioning into increased revenue or something similar. And then they just go ahead and blast hastily crafted campaigns into the metaverse. However, different roles will react differently to different offers. A chief technical officer won't resonate at all with a 36% increase in lead flow and the CEO of that same company won't care about your unique method of organizing data management through proprietary SQL databases. So you need to match the positioning of your offer with the positions you are targeting. CEOs, they care more about the high level, things need to work better, more efficient, fucking simpler or need to make more 
more money, etc. And then, for example, the chief technical officer, they care about the nitty gritty niche stuff, SQL databases and fucking organizing data and making shit work better. They have their own responsibilities, so they don't fucking give a fuck if something is crossing with other departments or other positions. So an example of this, Rachel and Jade were trying to get outreach campaigns work for a sales training offer. Not only did they not have any quantifiable offer, but they were blasting all decision makers. So what we did is we turned the offer to a painkiller with a quantifiable outcomes and targeted only the roles that it should resonate with. And we got almost a 23x increase in campaign efficiency. We just did by turning a vitamin into a painkiller and just targeting the actual relevant position. Then the next thing you need to do is you need to understand testing. Most outbound operators know how important testing is to crack outbound. For reference, Rene ran over eight tests before cracking outbound for his UI UX offer. However, there's a misconception between testing and optimizing. Treating them the same will make it impossible for you to crack outbound no matter how many campaigns you launch. And the difference is in what you change on the campaign level. Basically, you need to think of testing as picking which highway you should go on. And optimizing is which lane on the correct highway you should be in. We basically treat testing as trying the big things. Either how you position your offer, so does it save costs versus save time or make more money. So basically the big positioning thing. Or who you target, so are you targeting a serious start? startups or fucking indie hackers or which industry you go after so are you going after marketing agencies or freelancers and so on so you're basically testing these big positioning things and these are basically shouts that you're testing not whispers and the main thing that you should keep in mind is that the things that you test should come from understanding the market making educated assumptions also keep in mind that if you test big levers you'll have campaigns that simply flop and that is okay because you're still trying to find the right path and once you do you've pretty much cracked it Finding the shout that works is when you crack outbound and then you just fucking optimize it. A lot of people, they just like tweak, do I say hi or hello? Do I use this CTA or this CTA? And like, it just won't get you anywhere. It's gonna be slow and miserable and nothing's really gonna happen. So you need to test these big things. We make you more money or we save you time or like we target marketing agencies instead of indie hackers or whatever. Like you need to do this big change. You're just trying to find the right direction on the map. And then you start just optimize the path that you take there. An example here, Valentin became our client with his lead generation agency in February. He was struggling to book meetings for his clients, so we told him to test more angles. And instead of the big things, he wrote different structured cold emails with the same angles. What he basically did is he didn't change the angle, he just changed the wording that he used on the cold email, which is like what a lot of people do. And only after giving him extensive feedback that he should test the what and not the how, he started rolling really sickly. He started getting sick results for his clients, 20 appointments generated in a week and a half. He just started killing it when he understood this one small thing. So test the big shouts, what is actually happening and not like the small whispers, like what call to action you use and what subject line you say. Yeah, they can make a difference, but it can be like a five, 10% increase in performance compared to like testing a big shout that can actually five extra campaign performance. There's a bit of a language barrier between us and Valentin. So we had to use a live translator that we had on calls to communicate in the early days. He still got the idea and just worked hard, launched new angles every week and just cracked out. Bomb. So you need to be testing the what, not the how. You can launch a new campaign every day to a pool of 250 to 500 leads, depending on the list quality, and test these small campaigns with big shouts. After you have done the testing, then you're gonna start optimizing. And this is what most people do when they do A-B test campaigns. They test different subject lines, different CTAs, free resources versus free audits, and all these small things. And these are all valid tests to do if you have found the winning positioning or the angles. These are different lengths that you can take to go faster on the right highway, but keep in mind that you don't want to go faster on the wrong road. You don't really want to optimize an angle that doesn't really work. Once you've cracked outbound, by testing shouts, you can optimize your campaigns to be more efficient with your outreach. And you should test things like subject lines, lead sources, CTAs, different free resources, and so on. Just these small things. An example of this, our client Theodore approached testing the best way. He starts with the shouts to figure out the winning angles. So he'll just test a bunch of different angles, and then he optimizes the winning campaigns to get higher and higher meeting book rates. So he just tests like the smaller things to actually get them perform and like squeeze out all the juice that he can from those sale campaigns. 0.7% book rate might not be great for something like lead generation. Like if you're running outreach for your own lead agency, 0.7%, like it's not great. But in e-commerce niche, that's like way higher than the average. Like I would say the average is 0.1, 0.15. And he's crushing at 0.7 doing this stuff. But yeah, summary and next steps. To crack outbound offers, what you need to do is first, you need to understand your market and what its awareness and sophistication levels are. Second thing, you need to understand the offers and reposition vitamins in the painkiller. 
keywords. And then the third thing is you need to understand how to test different angles and when to optimize your campaigns versus when to test. And yeah, you might have noticed that Rob barely talked about copy itself here. And that was the purpose. Most of our consultation clients who are failing to generate results with outbound are actually pretty fucking good at writing outreach copy. Like the actual copywriting part isn't a problem. So it's not how they write, it's what they write about. It's probably the same with you. So to crack outbound for offers and start filling up the calendar with qualified sales meetings without having to send over 3000 emails to book one call, you basically have two options. So you can either take this document and apply it into your campaigns, which will take time and energy to make sure you're doing it right. And it's just going to be a fucking hassle. Or option number two is you can work with me and my team to help you crack your outbound campaigns for yourself and also for your clients. If you become our consultation client, you'll have a 24 seven access to me and our other consultants. You'll have unlimited copy review for you and your clients, weekly industry updates, proven techniques and scripts to gatekeep. So like, yeah, I know people said they give everything out for free, but we don't. We have actually like fucking crazy alpha. So we gatekeep a lot of this shit. Plus you'll get our entire each and nation agent framework that has resulted in case studies in the beginning of this document. So people making 30, 40, 50, 70K a month. This is not a course or community. It's a personal consulting engagement where you leverage pre-created resources, daily one-on-one -on -one help, and our team will even review everything you do and give feedback on it. So you literally have our whole team on your ass, making sure that you do the work and making sure that you do it right. If you are a fit, we guarantee your results or don't pay. The spots are limited. So if you want to work with me and my team, book a call below and go to agentvelocity.io. There's a link in the comments or where this video is. And again, this is for people who are already running a marketing agency or for people who have experience in sales, marketing, or software. Or if you currently are running a lead transition agency, you want to get the actual fuck you results on your outbound campaigns without worrying about saturation. A few questions that you might have in mind. First of all, can I actually book two to four calls per day in e-commerce? And yeah, that's true. I've seen it happen. Can't guarantee it, of course, because not all offers are created equal. But if you have above the average offer for e-commerce companies, you have good case studies and you use our shit, you're 100% able to book two to four calls per day. Uh, second question, can we help crack outbound for any offer? No, some offers are just uncrackable. Some offers are just shit. They have no product market fit. Third question, what if I can't do market research? You either got to learn how to do it or just quit marketing. What prompts can I use to do market research on ChatGPT? You can go to my YouTube channel and we have basically all these SOPs here. Not the best ones, but a lot of these good ones. You can use this stuff. And the last question that you might have is, I'm struggling to crack outbound for my B2B business, which is not lead transition agency, is agent velocity city is still for me. 10 to 20% of our consultation clients don't run a lead transition agency. So if you're looking to learn cold outreach or want consultation on cracking outreach, AV is for you. But we only work with established business owners who can deliver results. And if you are not running a lead transition agency, we won't help you with service delivery. So basically, if you are running a lead transition agency or if you're looking to run one, an AV is perfect for you. Or if you already run a B2B business and you know how to deliver results and you just want to make more money with cold email, then also we can help you. So yeah, go ahead, book a call, subscribe, to the channel, leave a comment. I always want to hear what you think about it, what kind of videos you would want me to make.